You ready? I'm ready. You can hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. All right. Let's do it. Welcome to another episode <laughs> of OK Real Quick. I'm your host, Tamika Monet. And I'm Crystal Ramos. Yay. <laughs> so today we're going to touch on something that's kind of sensitive. Um, as we know, it's been another mass school shooting in Florida. Um, we send our condolences and everything to everyone that lost the 17 people that lost their lives. Mm-hmm. And um, a couple people got hurt. But it um, why we chose to talk about this topic is because... Um, it's like what could we, what could possibly be done, or what should be the the, the way to f- fix this from happening? You know what I mean? Because this is literally the 18th. What is it, the 18th in the past year? Mm-hmm. 18th school shooting in the past year. Not to mention, you know, the church that got shot up in South Carolina, and then the the club in Florida, in Orlando. So it's just like so many shootings is happening. Not to mention maybe some that we don't even know about. Yeah. So it's like I'm. I feel like it should be tighter gun laws i mean i agree with them but at the end of the day like what happens with laws and rules people break them so when people you have to put that in mind okay we're gonna have laws they're gonna add laws to limit people from getting guns but they're gonna be those people who still break the laws, still break the rules so y'all gotta do what you have to do to protect yourselves as well besides adding laws but my thing is like Think about I see like I, I hear what you're saying because as we know in the hood most of the guns in the hood are illegal, <laughs> yeah. but at the same time all these but those those guns shoot one person or two people mm-hmm. Maybe, even if it's not the person intended or whatever and it's it's by kids that don't know what they're doing mm-hmm. but it's like these um they're not mass shootings yeah these are mass shootings and they're done with guns that's purchased legally yeah you know what I'm saying like what does a 19 year old Need, why does a 19-year-old need to legally purchase an AR-15? Hmm. I mean, like, why Why is that necessary? And how did that even happen? Because I know in New York, it ain't going down like that. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because I know down south, you can walk into Walmart and get a shotgun. For real. You know, bullets is out there. They got handguns. You know, it don't take nothing to get your license to have a gun or whatever, whatever. But I'm just like, if it's that easy, what do you think is good like you know what I mean what do you mm. think should happen or what 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 do you think is the how do you like I, I can't even get my thoughts together because I mean so many things. like we shouldn't even have them they shouldn't be out exactly. for sale whatsoever because like most like they say they're they're made to kill people you know what I'm saying you know, they're not even good for hunting they're like made to kill people they but carry an, so many bullets it's an amendment right to so, carry that so yeah, I, don't, should, I don't go against that because so people do need to if you have homes sometimes you need guns to protect yourself because people do try to break in your shit mm-hmm. and sometimes you gotta shoot somebody in the ass mm-hmm. but I'm just saying like what, it, what does a 19 year old need with an AR mm-hmm. like that's, that's that's an AR nothing unless he's going hunting with his daddy you know what I mean but um but you don't hunt with an AR exactly because it's not a hunting gun <laughs> but <laughs> what you hunting with an what you hunting banning banning those those particular guns will help a lot um, but like I said, it's like even if they do ban them, they have people have to find ways to protect themselves, and that doesn't necessarily mean go out and get a gun as well, or go out and get an AR-15 as well, so you could protect yourself against somebody else. I just like I, mean, I feel I like know, for the school, like I said, if I have a house, and you know somebody trying to get through my window, I'm shooting them in the ass. Yeah, you feel me. But also, I don't think that you should have guns that's accessible to your kids. But exactly. once again, this kid, I'm not even talking about illegal because, like, like everything that's illegal, people will find a way. You know, drugs are illegal. There's mad crackheads. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like when it comes to things like that, I'm talking about the legal aspect of it. Like this, this gun was purchased. This, just this particular situation, the gun was purchased legally mm-hmm. by this, by a 19 year old that all of a sudden now had all these disturbed, you know, this and had all. It, this was legally purchased by this person Mm -hmm. you know what I mean who this person also so called sent out you know little had rants and stuff like that the FBI was warned about Mm -hmm. that they actually just was like which is not the first time they ignored you nah but what people forget is that yeah they notify the FBI but then the FBI have to follow laws too where they can't just violate his rights and go searching and say oh well someone suspects you of this or someone suspects you of that because damn that they pull niggas out the hood because they look like people that did stuff yeah but those are exactly but that's what that's what the fbi is claiming that their rights 
their job their their job to go and look for these people and search for these people who are uh, quote unquote people who follow ICs or people who you know put out statements that they're gonna hurt people. The FBI were limited as far as what they can do to those type of people. But that's that's crazy because then how do you how do you eliminate that in terrorism? You feel me? Because mm-hmm. it's like because your name is Muhammad, I'm gonna look in your shit. But because your name is Eric, I'm not. Exactly. You feel me? So then it's like, well, that's a blurred line that cannot be. So I'm not accepting that as an excuse because it cannot be this for Muhammad and then this over here for John. They have to they have to consider it a terrorist attack when an American citizen um kills many people in mass shootings. They have to consider it a terrorist attack. It will never happen. But until then it will the never FBI cannot happen. go over there and be like, All right, we're gonna hold you for sixty days. All right, we're so gonna why, take so, your guns. Okay, so why do they do that? Why is it okay in the hood? Because it's people that could be it's, it's, you know what I mean, at one point they had stop and frisk. You know what I mean? And if you fit the description mm-hmm. of someone that's wanted or did something, that's it. You know what I mean? Or somebody says, hey, that person robbed me, they could take, they took you to jail mm-hmm. because this person said something. So what's the difference? That's my question. And then these are questions that we all need to be asking. What's the difference? Then what I, what I don't like, too, and I think a lot of what's going to, what needs to stop mm. is in the media. And I know we're talking about it now, but I'm just trying to talk about the, I'm not talking about the person. I'm talking about the situation. Let's be clear. The media makes the people they they focus on the people and not the not the situation. Mm-hmm. And when it's somebody in the Ameri- when it's an American that does it, I don't want to. I'm I'm just going to say it. when it's a white American that does it, this person's mental past always come. I knew this kid's mental story mm-hmm. and his life story before I knew his name. Mm-hmm. I knew that he was adopted. I knew that he was his both his pa- both his adopted parents died. I know that he had mental issues throughout the whole thing. That was the first thing they put out in there mm-hmm. before they released everything that happened. And then they make it then even now like they they didn't they, they canceled his court date. He was not ready to stand up to, to be in court. They canceled it. Meanwhile, there's a kid. I can't remember where. I just saw the joint, too. It's a kid that shot one time in school. He brought a hand in school, shot one time in school. He is he is now being held as a... T- it's like he's being charged as an adult. He's 16. Is he's it the one here in New York, the one that... I don't know if it's in New York. It's some, I, I, I don't want to give the... I don't the wanna, wrong information? I, won't, I don't want to give the wrong information because I read it real quick. Mm-hmm. But he's being charged as an adult on, ch- on terror charges. Mm. Meanwhile, when they have this dude who shot up all these kids in... in um. In Florida, they mm-hmm. know he did it, and they're like the accused suspect. You feel me? Right. So it's like I feel like until we start really, even the dude that sh- that shot up Vegas, so cool shot up. I mean, I, I have my, I have my. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, mm-hmm. but I have my feelings about certain situations because certain situations is too many things that's not released that normally get released mm-hmm. that make me be like, hmm. Did that really happen? Weird. But let's just go with the media. So, the Vegas situation, the guy, he is like, as soon as it happened, instead of, you know, understand, instead of them saying he's a terrorist, da, 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 they they gave you everything to sympathize with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, he had problems, da, da, da. They even tried so much bring the attention to his wife, Girl, his to girlfriend. The girlfriend <coughs> who's me. not American. Yeah. Think she was like, she like from Filipino. Thailand she or like, Filipino. Yeah. They went. She like I don't know nothing about that. And he, they literally went. They tried to put her information out there more than him. And he don't want to shot up fifty one people. Mm-hmm. What you see? What I mean? Like these people never get the 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 classification that they deserve. I think like a lot of times with the media and the journalists, like they're fiending for a story or they're fiending for a part of the main story so they're like okay well we got this information first about the girlfriend let's throw it out there i don't know I and then don't, other I don't people know. and then other media just I tags along i don't know man it's I don't, just crazy. because if that's the case then you can you can make that person the like you can take that person find what you know about them and focus on them as a negative mm-hmm. they don't do that they mm-hmm. focus on the person that did the problem as a victim. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As a victim. Or they don't blame. And You know what I mean? They never say anything. Our own president made it a situation where he talked about, he kind of took it off of the person that shot mm-hmm. the people and then made it about the schools and and stuff like that. 
So it's like, what, when are we going to sit here and really be like, yo, this person's a terrorist, American terrorist, blah, blah, blah. You, you still tweeting about building a wall, but Mexicans ain't shoot up shit yet. He's talking about MS-13. That's a gang situation. You're going to have that regardless. Unfortunately, they're just very brutal. But at the end of the day, these gangs and stuff like that is going to be there. That's something you need to deal with in that city. Mm -hmm. But as a whole, we need to get these gun laws together. Yeah, because man. it's like, why does a 19-year-old or anybody need an assault rifle? And that's technically not what AR stands for. It yeah. stands for Army Regulated. But I don't get that. But, <laughs> but yeah, don't don't watch the FBI come knock on my door. They'll knock on my door though. Hey, black girl, can I, I talk to you real quick? Like, yeah. God damn it! I did a podcast for the people. <laughs> they should. They should. <laughs> I, they should I don't know. Like, I feel like every other state should do like what New York does. They got metal detectors. They got officers on you know in the area. Back in the days, remember back in the days, it was if they saw a kid out in the street during school Truancy. hours, they would pick them, them up. Well. I know them well. <laughs> either take them back to school or have, you know, they got to go to the police and have somebody pick them up. Like in those towns, like in Florida um, and these where, where the Columbine, all these places is usually like those town middle class where they think everything is all hunky dory, nothing bad happens. That's the place over where it here. happens. Our kids are great. You know what That's I'm saying? That's where it happens. But bottom line, when you see your kid shooting a cat in the head, you might want to stop it. Stop when you're <laughs> setting rabbits on fire, where? you might want to call somebody. Mm-hmm. If they're sitting there, if you know your kid is getting bullied, they a little bit different, you might want to have a conversation with them. First of all, I don't understand how a nineteen year old has an assault rifle in your house and you don't know. Mm-hmm. My mama it was nosy. Okay? My mother went through all my shit mm-hmm. as a child. I ain't have no see. I ain't, I ain't have no secrets. And it's not even that when you. But like, even still, yeah. like you know, it just it's. I just don't understand how that's possible. And I'm I'm not. And I don't want. Honestly, I'm not with all the metal detectors. I'm not with that mm-hmm. because when, I, like I said, school is the second safest place your kids should feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Your kids should feel safe at school. You send them there to learn social skills. You send them there to learn. You send them there. As an alternative to being home with you, <laughs> you go into school. You talking? You can you can shit on your own. You can let me know. We go into school. You gonna learn? Cause soon you gonna help with these bills. Okay. Like you gonna learn? <laughs> you gonna learn about life? You gonna you know, this is where you learn. This is second safest safest place to send you. Word. So why do I have to send you to a school that's damn near jail? You got to go through metal detectors. You got to do this. Trump talking about arming teachers. Was if they arm the teachers? Crazy. I'm homeschooling kids. I'm a homeschool my kid. If I if if Trump gives them teachers, give, give these teachers guns. That's the dumbest thing. You think it's gonna be bad now? It's gonna be yeah. a lot of dead black kids, That's not white kids. It's gonna be a lot of dead bum <laughs> dead ass. And if there's a mass shooting, what's to stop a teacher from running away with the gun? Listen, it's not like she gonna run out and gonna she gonna happen? have the gun. I'm on not her even like, worried. Oops. You know what? But my concern with that is not even the mass shootings when it comes to that. Look at it like this. You got all these cops. Mm -hmm. These people go through training. Mm -hmm. Months and months and months of training on how to deal with people. Mm -hmm. And they still get scared, shoot. Right? right? Imagine a teacher that they may go through a little bit of training or whatever. But you and say like, you know, I'm I'm say miss miss say this miss white teacher, Mm -hmm. right? Is in this black school. Mm -hmm. You know kids get rowdy. Yeah, and these disrespectful. Kids, and these kids are not, they're disrespectful. Mm-hmm. These kids are not, out. they're not our kid size. Like mm-hmm. when we were 16, we looked 16. These 16-year-olds look 30. Word. So you got them, you got you got everything, uh, everything that we know about this hood situation. They have a fight or something goes on and this teacher has a gun. This teacher is already scared because you are outnumbered. Mm-hmm. So... What, what what do I expect for you to do in a situation like that? You're not regulated to handle a situation like this. For real. So imagine that. Then think of it on, this, on the other spectrum. That same thing happens. These cops are killing black men left and right, right? Mm-hmm. You a black man. You a black male teacher. A shooting is reported at a school, and you the black man that's in the school with a gun. Nobody thinks about these things. But once again, we're not the people that they're thinking about. Trump is thinking about when he's making these these decisions. It's like, oh, let's give all the teachers a gun. You serious? Or what if why she's is a, my kindergarten? Yeah. Why is my son, why does my kid's kindergarten teacher have a gun? And what if she's a careless teacher and, yeah. and forgets to lock it up? That's what I'm saying. It's so many things that's not 
smart. Mm-hmm. And it's like and guns are the problem. Let's put more of them in the places where they're accessible to the problem. Doesn't make any sense. What? Yeah, I had a drunk sense. teacher one time. This chick used to be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> she was drunk as hell. Do I trust her to have a gun? She's gonna fall asleep. The kid that caused problems gonna take it. She ain't even gonna know. Like, Word. what do you do? Word. It's like you wanna have and this I don't want I don't want my kids to go to school with all the metal detectors. I don't. I don't no. want them to ever feel like that's the way life is. I don't. They they're gonna they wanna give teachers guns and they can't even send a disturbed kid to a counselor the, like you can't even like pin you know stop it while it's starting like yo half, you got a problem why you keep special, acting up in class take the, your ass yeah. to the psychiatrist please half the special like, kids like are not that. bad kids yeah. i mean they're not they're not nothing mentally disturbed with them they just bad mm-hmm. you know what i mean if you, i mean i don't know what it's like now but i know when i was in school they wasn't dumb they was bad word it was like those seventeen these dudes, throw throw ten of them in the room so they could just do whatever together. But them dudes were smart. Right. A couple of them kinda slow. But not like that. They were just bad. Yeah. But this kid clearly every oh, he was expelled from school because of this a uh, mental disturbance. He was expelled from school because of da 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 da. Okay. And nobody felt the need to tell anybody to recommend anything, to you know, put him in a situ- in a in a you know, some type of Counseling. Like let's kick him out of school and leave him to be this person that we kicked out of school in regular society. Let's Word. kick him out and leave him there Word. instead of taking him and getting him counseling or putting him in a program or something like that. Yeah, pretty much. And then then when shit like this happens, then you want to break down his rap sheet. Oh, he was an orphan. Oh, his parents died. Okay, but we knew this ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Like, we knew that ahead of time. And then the thing about it is like there's if there's that one kid who's a badass or a disruptive kid, like it affects all the other kids. So now they gotta wait for the teacher to deal with that child so that they can go back to the learning program. Mm-hmm. Like it's so it's so frustrating. So now you're gonna give the teacher a gun. Let's give them a gun. They're already dealing with with BS. So back to this history. <laughs> like what? Like, <laughs> back to you know what I mean? <laughs> like yo, you get this kid. What? Like, Pung. So about your homework. You know, like why we do? No. Word. It's gonna be it's gonna be lit in school literally. Then the kids gonna bring guns. It's gonna be a shootout with the teachers over over physics homework. I'm just worried about like a teacher teacher parent conference. Yeah, exactly. She what? gonna whip that gun out on me because I'm gonna say something especially smart. If, especially you give the kid a grade that you don't think they deserve. My mom turned up on a math teacher one time. <laughs> like how you gonna grade my whole child's whole class thing off of a circle project that no kid did? For real. You gonna fail her? She gonna be like what? Everybody what else passed and they ain't do it, but she did. My mom going, she going, they going to be like, miss. She going to raise her shirt, let <laughs> you gonna, see her gun. She gonna, and my mom going to be like, what's the problem? What you going, what's about to happen? <laughs> that little lady's a gangster, yo. Shout out to my mom, man. <laughs> <laughs> you need her in the school. <laughs> she, she, what the hell are you doing outside? Why are you outside? But yeah, I, I just really feel it's so much emphasis on, oh, we need metal detectors in schools. Okay. Say you put metal detectors in all the schools, which is, which is funny to me because in the hood, Ain't no shootouts in the, in the, in the school. Mm-hmm. You can get shot outside of school. You get shot immediately outside of school. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But inside of school, not really. A couple fights, a couple arguments. Yeah. Kid stabbed the other kid, but that's stabbing. Word. Yeah, he, not didn't that a, he didn't do a mass not that stabbing. Any, yeah, he didn't do a mass stabbing. <laughs> yo. Speaking, <laughs> yo. He <didn't, laughs> it was just one. Just one kid. That was fucking with him. That was fucking with him. You feel me? That's another thing. It's like y'all worried about all this shit. Y'all need to focus on the bullies instead of the kid getting bullied. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about cyberbullying. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in cyberbullying. Because I be. feel like you need to be on point with what your kid is seeing on the internet. And then when it happens... Uh, guess who's not on the internet anymore? Like, take that, sh- take the kid away from that situation. That's a, that's a control situation. I'm not into cyberbullying because I'm a type of. I know I'm gonna be a type of mom. Oh, you gonna talk all that shit to my kid online? Yeah. We all pulling up to school. Say it to their face. Word. Like, if you gonna bully my kid, b- bully him for real. Don't don't be a pussy bully. Word. Don't bully no kids though. I'm just saying. Don't don't bully the kids. I'm saying don't be a pussy bully. Don't be online talking shit. A lot of people do that now though. They Most important, shit, like they live yeah. in like California. And they talking to somebody in new york like bitches can't catch flights where <laughs> like me that's like i tell my daughter don't be the bully either no tell that's what i'm saying don't be, bully. don't be the bully either don't, don't be, be a bully shit. but i'm saying they need to focus on things like that because if you ever hear the stories it always comes back this kid was bullied he was different that that shit fucks with people 
And they're right. kids. They already don't know where they stand. They're trying to figure their own shit out. That's what needs to be addressed. You could put all the metal detectors in the school. It doesn't mean anything. Like I said, in the hood, they don't shoot up the school. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They, they, you going to fight. You yeah. might get stabbed, but you ain't going <laughs> to get, you know what I mean? Or whatever, which that doesn't even really happen that much. <laughs> you going to get your ass beat. <laughs> outside, you might get shot, but once you step outside, they don't give a fuck about you. For school real. safety is on this corner. Word. You know what I mean? So it's like, so that to me is not the answer because it doesn't stop anything. It's like the hood. It, like, I, I, I compared the two. Like, there's no metal detectors here. This shit so they getting shot up. Mm-hmm. There's metal detectors here. Nobody does it, but nobody's been doing it. Word. Like, that's not stopping anything to mm-hmm. me. You know what I mean? Because when I went to school, we didn't have no metal detectors, and nobody got shot. And they got shot on up the block. Yeah, it was a different Lies time, though. I, but still, I just don't. I just don't see it. Because if you put metal detectors in there, clearly security ain't shit. You heard about the security guard in Florida. That nigga took the fuck off. That nigga said, fuck these kids. Hey, mine. That nigga took <laughs> off. That nigga ran down the block. He's like, oh, words? I served my time. I'm, I'm a veteran. Good. I'm out. He probably had like a few more years to he, retire. He's about to retire. Like, he was not risking it for these kids that he does not even like anyway. He nah, was like, I'm out. I got another year left. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Me. Like, you, that don't mean nothing. That don't <laughs> get real. They shooting them. Everybody gangs into that first shot, get let off. Then that shit clear the fuck out. For real. Okay? I'm serious. Everybody a thug. Everybody, yo, I wish they would. You do? You do? Do you? Watch this. You gonna run? You gonna be at home. Like, damn, it's crazy. Shout out my school. Yo, when, you, when, <laughs> when, 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 but when it happened, yo, I caught myself imagining, like, why nobody threw a hard ass book at his ass from the back? Because he's shooting. <laughs> In the back, in the back. Like, yo, ah! you be that person. <laughs> we're like, you be okay. that person that we watch on TV and we're like a book, bitch. Yeah, they were, they're gonna interview. Be like, how did you get him? Yo, I threw a big ass book at him, and then oh. everybody joined in throwing books at his ass. <laughs> so that's the thing. Boom, get, so don't give him guns. Give him books. No, nah, I'm just saying. I'm like one thing. Like everybody was running. Nobody just threw exactly a book at him. I would have thrown my book bag on his ass. Like, <laughs> Run like <laughs> instead of having those kids or or those shows talking about all this other stuff, they're gonna have a dictionary. Like, thank you, Webster, because you saved our lives. We threw seven dictionaries at him and it took Word. down the suspect. I'll be the principal. <laughs> like, you know, I'll be the principal on the loudspeaker. Like, yo, they they shooting, but make sure you throw your book bag if you pass them. Throw your book bag at him, but run down them steps. What does like, it say? To leave your book bag. Make his ass trip. Like do booby, something. Really booby traps. <laughs> okay. We're going to find another way to do it. Always, this. always. Them. Throw the dust down. Throw them down. <laughs> Throw your books out his ass. What? Open the locker door. They say the he running. killed the gym teacher. None of those kids threw a basketball at his ass. No, the kids. <laughs> First of all, you're a gym teacher. You're supposed to be agile. You're supposed to know better. Word. You taught me how to run. How the fuck you didn't run? When he ran through the cafeteria, <laughs> throw your, your milk at him. Chill, him chill, 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 yo. Him. School lunch is expensive. You got to pay for it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, you damn, not nobody, my pizza today. Nobody no. threw a book at his ass? No. <laughs> <laughs> Make his ass trip? Shit, yeah. imagine. Damn. Everybody I'm t- was running. Imagine if that was a case. Like they said, they were like, "This grand old encyclopedia is the one that saved our lives." Like, <laughs> what? Nah, you in the next social room studies. <laughs> I love my social studies teacher. <laughs> you in the next classroom and you hear the pop, pop, pop. Everybody, grab your book. Grab your book. He's coming. Bye. Everybody throwing the books at the door, dodging under so, the desk. So in gym classes, that teach you how to how to run and shit. They teach you how to how to yeah. Because there's that game the, <laughs> that shit when you skim the rocks, they, that's skimming the, books. They should incorporate that in their drills because they do have mass shooting drills now too. That's fucking crazy. They have mass shooting drills right now. I saw now. that on TV and, and you go ahead. This what made me mad though. Go I ahead. saw one, <laughs> even though it's dope. It was it was a class that was it was it was dope the way the school has this security system set up. Mm-hmm. It's dope idea i don't think it should be that way in school Word. but they was like when it happens all the kids got to get behind the red line throw your tables down fam when they shooting i'm not thinking about these tables i'm trying to get the fuck out mm-hmm. oh my god i'm not behind the red line like what Mm-mm. no i'm trying to get behind some somebody like, no, i know one of the one of in the one of them they do what they barricade the door and they hide under their desk or they hide in the closet. There was another one where there was a black mother. She was pissed because when she saw how they do the mass shooting drills, they put her son in the front of the line. Ugh. Another white kid, another Take white the kid nigga is out right first. behind her. Really? <laughs> really? Really? He's going to lead the way, though. Lead the way to where? To Jesus? <laughs> I hope Fuck he has out a of here. 
He gonna, he <laughs> read the first book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Throw that heavy ass social Wouldn't studies. Wouldn't it be crazy if he's ass. the only black kid now, white school, and they be like, you know what, brother? I feel your struggle too. Go sit down. I'm gonna shoot the rest of these people. Like, For real. Keep doing that shit. Keep fucking with us, yo. Keep Where? fucking with our black asses and see what happens. <laughs> I promise you, if there's a black shoot or something, if a black kid come and shoot up at school, they'll change everything. It'll be so many. It'll be helicopters. They'll change the school systems immediately. It hasn't they'll happened. They'll change gun laws immediately. That's when they'll start throwing the books. Best. <laughs> I'm pretty boss. sure they're gonna, see, <laughs> they're gonna see that one black kid with the A, with the AR. They'll be like, yo, throw your books at him. Chill, yo. We we tough. We take books. <laughs> they like, fuck these books. We dodging books this whole semester. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Education. Pop, he gonna shoot them shit. <laughs> you ever play Duck Hunt? Pop, pop, pop. Word. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yo, but, it's, yo, I'm, I'm, I mean, we make it light of the subject, of course, but it's still an issue. You know what I mean? It's still something that needs to be addressed. Yo, you know? it's crazy. They just shouldn't have them out, but they do. So now we're here. They shouldn't have those guns selling, period. It should have never started. But now we're here, and it's like, what can you do? And like I said, they're going to make laws. They're going to change the rules. But people are still going to break them. Yo, I mean, but that's 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 when it's a whole nother situation, when it's a broken law. But right. if this is a law and it's done legally, what the fuck could we say? Yo, best thing I ever heard. Mm-hmm. It's an actor. Oh, I can't remember his name, but whatever. He's It's an actor. He said, if you want gun laws to change... Have every black man register for his gun license, and they will change the change the law. I believe it. Yeah, but why do we mm-hmm. have to be mm-hmm. the re? You know what I mean. This is my point. Like, it's like that's that that they definitely would, but they're not changing it to benefit anyone mm-hmm. besides put besides using it against the people that legally got this done. Mm-hmm. So it's like the law will change, but it's not going to change to benefit this type of situation mm-hmm. it'll change to make sure that you black man that just got your gun legally will be there will be a way for you now to be arrested for that for real but i thought that was genius because i'm like as soon as you see or you see you see jermaine you see tito mm-hmm. I, I don't know why i said the jackson five that was so weird like Word. but you michael. see <laughs> michael <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> see Tyshawn, all of them. You see them names on them lists? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And from the Bronx or something like that. You're going to be like, you know what? <laughs> Somebody got to have a meeting. Because all these, all these black kids, right? All these black guys right here legally have guns. Mm-hmm. And we done to stop shit because they killed, oh, what's his name? Philandro Castro? I yeah. Can't, I, I hate that I can't remember names. I can't remember. Yeah. I, can't, I hate that I can't remember names. Yeah, Castile. I'm sorry. Yeah, the one that they killed in the car. He was yeah. A, he was in he the car with school. his. He was in the car with his girl and his baby. He told him, "I legally have a gun. I legally bang bang like you know what I mean with his kid in the car." Weird. So then it's like, what does it change? But this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You give these people. You get this a cop that did that to a man that legally had a gun. Imagine if he was in the school. Yo. Remember, he imagine he was the teacher in the school, and that teacher pu- that that cop pulls up. He protecting these students because he legally could do it, but this cop who's scared shoots him. But you know, not for nothing. The Meanwhile, these they they got the they got the dude all out with no no nothing, no vest, no nothing. They just trusting trusting everybody. But the thing with that, like, imagine if everyone took that actor's advice and went and go get registered guns. That's just gonna give the police officers reason to start shooting people on site for no reason they do that now they make up reasons but that's what i'm saying it's just gonna increase my i don't know it's just crazy because i wish that when all those things are going down when the officers are like shooting us i wish we were there in numbers because when we're there in numbers with our guns you think they'll still shoot at us yes if we outnumber them first of all cops are the biggest gang in america they are they, they they don't like gangs because you could possibly be bigger than them. They are the biggest gang. Sorry, shout out to the cops that I know. And I only say this, in, but then also also in defense mm. to play devil's advocate, mm. I dated a cop, and I remember we went to see Fruitvale Station, mm-hmm. right? So I didn't know the story of it when I went to see it. Mm-hmm. So I learned about it as I was watching it. Mm-hmm. So my, mind you, I'm a civilian. This is a cop. You know what I mean? And when we was watching the movie, he kind of made me think a little bit different. Because 
he we're watching it and I'm like, why would they do that? Why would they have to shoot him like that? He was and he, what he told me was gangster. He was like, Tamika, I see everything the cop is doing wrong. Cops shouldn't have, should have those two cuffed. You know what I mean? They weren't. And, you know, he shouldn't have his he shouldn't have his gun like that. But they shouldn't be he they should be listening. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, if you if they saying sit there, be quiet. This, you're in a situation like this. Sit there, be quiet to wait, process, whatever. Yeah, you mad. Yeah, you hyped. And as us, we want to get our story out. But understand, mm-hmm. this is what's happening right now. Mm-hmm. So he told me that. He was like, they, they're being rowdy. When you're a cop, you, don't, you have three seconds. And in those three seconds, it's you or me. And I never thought about it like that. He said, understand what we're dealing with. We're already cops. So mm-hmm. we come into the situation in the negative. We are supposed to be the positive. But depending on the, the, the area we go to, we're already coming in on the negative. So when you see the cop, everything is, everything is second by second by second. Correct. In situations like that. Mm-hmm. So I, it made me look at, I mean, I'm not defending them, but also I got into the mindset of it. Now, that situation, for, I'm not defending fruit Station. I'm not doing that. But I'm just saying, in, those, in certain situations, everything has to be looked at. Yeah, you know correct. What I, mean? I feel but like then yeah. you have cops that are unprofessional and are scared. Understand, these are, a lot of these cops are old, so they have this old mentality that we are all the enemy. Mm-hmm. And then you have a lot of them that's young and mm-hmm. they're scared. They scared kids in a neighborhood with a situation that they can't control by talking because mm-hmm. they're not taught that. And in that moment, they teach you, is you it, 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 your mentality is you or me. Exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's that mentality because at the end of the day, if you're experienced, right, if you do this on a regular and on a regular you deal with domestics, you deal with rowdy, ratchet-ass people. So on that note, you should already know that they're not even thinking about about you as an officer and how things should be handled and how an officer is thinking and whatnot. At the end of the day, the officer should lead the way. You should. And give that advice or give that notion, listen, I'm going to have to take you on the rest, so just calm down or whatever. And any, at the end of the day, we're not there when it's happening. I cannot say it from experience because I'm not a cop, but still, if you do this on a regular at some point in time, you should be able to handle the situation where you can get said person to calm down somewhat. I I agree. But then at the same time, look at what we're dealing with now. It's even harder now mm. because now we're waiting for the for the bullshit. It's like it happened the first two times. We're like, oh, shit, they're killing us. But then now it's like you got your cell phone out. Niggas read the laws now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm I can lawfully record you. Mm-hmm. I'm not touch you or involved in the crime scene. And then cops are doing it's so many can now as soon as you as soon as you see a camera come out, as so, I mean, as soon as you see a cop talk to somebody, first thing everybody does is pull their phone out now. So now it's like, you know, it it it's just getting a little bit more complicated for everybody Word. you know what i mean because now you have this footage but they're gonna find a way to discredit your footage mm-hmm. and discredit everybody being there mm-hmm. or they're gonna call all the people that's there being a problem or you know dis- disrupt disrupting the crime scene mm-hmm. or the situation or causing it to egg on and then we see everybody around us so in our minds in that fury in that fury we're like we got everybody around us so i could do this because if they do something to me it's on camera but that's not how it should be it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be the mentality of the cops to be this way and it shouldn't be us acting like that and i'm saying us as a people not as Black people. I'm just saying us as a people because right. white people wild out too. I've seen cops. They just don't <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah, they just don't get shot. They just don't you know what die. I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. So it's like this. It's like it's always going to be that that black and white thing all the time. Look at dude that they had that rally. He ran over bitches and shit and he backed up the whole car. He still ain't get arrested. They came. His whole family came down and was like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. They went once again, ran down his mental issues and whatever instead of making him who he was. Right. I don't, I mean, the, the people that's getting killed for no reason, that's where the problem is. But I use those examples to go back to teachers mm-hmm. because this is what teachers are going to start doing. You know, this is what, that is what teachers are going to start doing if you give them guns. Word. Especially if, in, if they're in a school that's rowdy or in a school that they don't know how to handle those situations by 
by coming having a conversation by being the dominant because you're talking to people that's trying to dominate the situation because they want to get their story across or they want to let you know that they're not scared or they want to let you know what it is mm -hmm. so it's like what do you do what do you do mm -hmm. and it's and once again, it's it's these situations are happening 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 but it's like the other happening 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 oh my god we'll light some candles We'll talk about it for a week, and then a Kardashian will get pregnant or naked, and then that's the headline. Word. You know what I mean? Like, somebody's going to do something. Some celebrity's going to, you know, Safari took over the internet a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, even though it's black Twitter, it don't really count. But still, mm -hmm. it was on, it, it made the view. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? Like, and every, all of that stuff went away, you know? But I think there's a bigger issue that has to go. But the NRA is a, a strong thing strong company it's a strong group of people and let me tell you how gangster the nra is mm. this is why they don't give a fuck mm -hmm. and how we know nothing's gonna change all these companies pulled out united pulled out all these companies from supporting them enterprise. right enterprise all of them you know what the nra said they basically said i'm not quoting them they basically said we don't give a fuck Word. we're just gonna get people to replace you Word. that's literally in their statement that they said they was like yeah you know we're gonna find companies that agree with what we stand for and Enjoy your life. <laughs> like, I was like, God damn. Because like, they, 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 like a lot of people who own guns, believe that guns don't kill people. People kill people. So they feel mm -hmm. like it's a, a problem that that's not theirs. We still got to make our money. I'm not saying. but then No, no, I'm the just saying that's yeah, the reason that's why. Thing. For their and, attitude. And in, a, in a place, yeah. In a sense, yeah. But then at the same time, I mean, like, <sighs> Chris Rock said something that was amazing one time. Mm. He said, Gun, if a gun was cheap and the bullets cost mad money, there'd be less people getting shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because AR, you got to fill a clip, okay? If, if each each bullet was $100, mm -hmm. you're not really going to spend $1,000 because you're mad at people in school. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, you're not going to do that. But the, once again, we, why does this make sense to us but other people is no. Like, do they make money off of this? Do they, do they make money? I think, honestly... I think it things it, like yeah. this is good um it's good for media mm -hmm. things like this is good for the government mm -hmm. I think these unfortunately things like this is like it's like casualties of war it's like you a group of people that that don't that's not us benefit from things like this that's why nothing's gonna change Word. in my mind I'm not saying this is fact please. I don't need the government. I don't need Trump to tweet about me. Like mm -hmm. I don't need. I don't need that kind of energy in my life. I'm just giving you my opinion. Word. Okay. My opinion. Nah, but like, okay. So for example, with the NRA, because they got all this money, and that's why they don't give a fuck. Maybe they should start instead of giving their monies to these politicians that help with their laws. They should force them to pay monies towards these schools. It's about know. time like they give them money. Like you know what. You can keep your guns. You can sell your guns. But now, instead of giving this money to politicians, give them to the That'll schools. That never happen. They should. Politicians should. giving up no, money? No, no, not the politicians. I'm talking about NRA. Give the money to the schools then. No. Keep they, your but money. Then, but then who's going to pass your laws? Who's going to excuse your bullshit? Exactly. You need the politicians. That's why they give them so much money. Word. So it's like, what do you do? It's all a game. It's all a network. It's all a game. Like I said, a lot of people... In there that we don't have nothing to do about that's really benefiting. I didn't even know that these airlines, all these companies, were supporting the NRA like that. I had no fucking idea. So they was like, yeah, we're pulling out of support. I'm like, what? I didn't even know that was happening. Word. Now everything's happening. Uh, but everyone, I'm pulling out of support. And I'm just kind of like, I don't know if that was the move, guys. Because like they said, that's cool. Sorry to see you go. But um, we're going to get somebody else. For real. They literally treat you like your job treats you. Like, oh, damn, you're leaving. Okay. Uh, set up that interview for uh, Steve next week. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pull out that gang of resumes that we got over there. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Like, damn, yeah. Crystal left. Damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come in. I got a 3 o'clock. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but what's crazy is that they have these people who are gun owners, right? And they're way over 21. And they're mad that they want to prevent people who are younger than 21 from getting gun why are you mad you way over the kids gotta get guns way over 21 who cares like it's just stop the kids from getting these guns 
out of nowhere. Because it hasn't happened to them yet. It doesn't it hasn't happened to them yet. I promise you, if they shoot up their farm, then it'll be like, oh my God, we need to get some control here. And I'll be like, oh no, 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 no. This is what you wanted. You wanted to give him a AR. For his 15th birthday. You <laughs> thought it was cool. I'm right? like watching in this old man upset. I'm like, but you, they're not even talking about you. It's 21 and younger. No, but <laughs> his 15-year-old year old grandson has a birthday coming up. And he has a specially engraved AR he has to give him or something That's like crazy. that. crazy. That he's actually going to be able to use legally. It's crazy. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to, what to say about it. I have so many little theories about some of these things and these, um, I don't care. Get mad if you want to. These crisis actors are kind of pissing me off. What do you mean? The kids? That's they're not, not kids. Though. They're not kids. Those are real, those they're are not, real students. No, they're not. You're no, going to believe not. that lie? No, no, they're not. You Have you heard their story? No. I don't care. Get mad. Those Email are not me. Actors. Those Leave are a comment. Real. I don't believe them. That's fucking real. Who's no, gonna, it's not. That's so real. Who's Have you paying heard this story? Okay, the but who's government. Paying them? Why not? The government is paying them to act like victims. Yes. You to do what? Never heard that. We never heard of crisis actors before. Girl, baby. That's a lie. Nah. Listen, I'm just gonna leave it right here. Listen, that I, is they, a they crazy. was on the show, right? They was on the show. Listen to the story. If, like I was saying, I was just talking about this. Have you seen them? The the girl. What are you talking about the, the the three kids. The girl with the bus cut. Hold up. They they their diversity. The kid whose nah, father's an FBI let, agent. They, Think about, look at it like this. Nah, they're real students. No, they're not. They went to what that kid, school. What kid whose father is an FBI agent is going to be the spokesperson for this crisis? It's real. I, nah. I don't believe he's the crisis no. act. I mean, these people got to take their kids to school somewhere. No, I don't believe. They don't. First of all, he's 19 years old. Yo, they were on Ellen, so they're not crisis this actors. Is, no. So <laughs> what? What that mean? That don't, that's how I found out the story. Because listen to their story. And they, they, their story is too fucking sentimental, too sympathetic. Whatever S word we want to use. All right? That's what we're using. Because, listen, the boy who looks like the preppy, you know, the preppy, yeah, they, the studious. Uh-huh. Have you heard him talk when he went on that show with the senator? It was like, going, he was too proper, too rehearsed. And this is supposed to be a child? No. Fuck out of here. Then, yo, nah. then his, story, his story was like, he was like, were you there? He was like, I was in the other side of the building picking up my brother who has mental issues. Really? So now we got to talk about your brother having mental issues? My, my, not mental his issues. Disability. He has a disability. So you just happened to be on the other side of the school picking up your, your brother with a mental nah, disability. Nah, I believe it. And then you you didn't even see the shooting or hear it. It was just happening. And we, nah, we then the I girl, it. the girl who she's clearly, she's the one that has like the alternative the alternative look with the so, buzz cut yeah so we don't really know what's going on with her she's the one that's speaking the most she's crying and she's a strong tough woman Word. which was the the woman Word. so she's a strong tough woman Word. and she wasn't even there she was in the auditorium she, she lost a leaving. friend though everyone so-called lost a friend i'm not Correct. saying nobody lost anybody but i'm saying that i don't believe them then you got the, the other chick that looks like the america sweetheart Word. And she wasn't even there. She was like on the other side doing something innocent. So this is what I'm saying. Like they stories, nobody, nobody was running in the in, in the math class. Nobody from the math class is on the show. Okay, so re- let me say I something. I need that person. Right, I need so, the person that got shot. Right, I need the person something. that the, the principal, I mean the gym teacher that got have killed. You seen I need the person that he was protecting the beat. Nah, have you, okay, so have you seen the girl with the black and blue on, on camera, the one that said that she didn't, like, she didn't like the way Trump talked to her over the phone? The ones that were actually there, they're probably so distraught. Like, you can't even have an interview with them. They're going to be like, oh, how was it? Oh, my God. That's what I need to see. So they're not going to be. That's, that's who needs to be the real faces of the faces that need to be there. I don't want to see these these strong and these print. I don't want that. I want the chick with the black and blue. Yeah. I want the chick that has a destroy. I want her to tell me that story. I don't want. When you ever hear a story about people going down, don't you want to talk to the person? You don't want to talk to the people that got the information after the information? Yeah, so the ones that are doing the talking, they're the ones that are just there to help change the laws and change the rules. Those are real people. They're not real. They probably weren't there when the fires were going by. I don't think they didn't. But I don't find that they're crisis actors. I just feel like they're able to speak for the people Somebody even called out the dude, the dude. If I, I mean, I don't know how real it is, but one kid was like, yeah, he's a crisis actor. Um, His dad is, he he went to some school in California. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you, you was in 
happened. He he went to school in California. He graduated from some school. Do pull out the yearbook picture. Then he said he always wanted to be an actor. He was on something else. He was in some other crisis. Mm-hmm. He was there. And then now you happen to be at this crisis, picking up your 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 brother that has a disability. I didn't see that first crisis mm. thing. Because I, I didn't I'll see be that on first it. crisis. I didn't see that first crisis Whenever this shit happens, I'll be on it. That's why I'll be like, I have my little theories, but I don't want to offend nobody too much. Because if we want to have this conversation, we can have it. Because honestly, that Vegas shit was kind of weird to me. Because I've been to Vegas, and I know the security there. You ain't going to bring a gang of guns in no hotel in Vegas. You could damn near not bring another bitch up in that shit. Nah. So I'm like, mm, nah. You, they, it's not even a government thing that's paying for it because they can't. Eat, they're the one. The government is the one that are going against the laws. No, the these, government is the one that wants to believe that. Are the ones that are not are that are are going against the laws that the people want. That it's all to it just, doesn't make any it's sense. All to make us, it's all to make us feel like they're doing something. And it's That's been crazy. not the first time. It's all set up to make to comfort us enough to make us feel like they're doing something while they're doing nothing. Because nothing's going to change. And we all know that. Smart people know that. But you're having these rallies and shit like, yeah, da, da, da. Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to But it's, you have to make people, especially in these days and time, you have to make the public, the, the majority, feel like something's happening. That's why, in a way, I don't like Trump, but I appreciate that motherfucker because he don't talk about shit. That nigga just blame everybody. Be like, yeah, the By Democrats himself. the Democrats ain't had the gun laws. So we like, but wait, nigga, you here now. Nah, but see, that's if the Dems people- had a, if the Dems, he said, he tweeted that if the Democrats had to pass the gun laws, but okay, they didn't. Fuck them. We get it. But you here now. You and your, 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 your Republican people. What's good? What we doing? Where's nah, that? Nah, because even when Obama was in office, he had already made statements and made comments saying that when one of the one of the a, a gun owner questioned Obama when he was in office and he was like, "Why do you want to restrict gun laws and do this and do that?" And he was like, "We're not trying to restrict gun laws." Obama couldn't even get it done, and he was in it's office. It's not gonna happen. You cannot get it done. The, when you have a a company or a, or a situation that is being that's basically paying these politicians, Mm -hmm. you're not going to get anything to go against them. Trump is not in office because he got enough votes. He, those checks cleared. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those checks cleared. Those government checks he sent out cleared. He's not going to, nobody put him in office. He put himself in office. That's why so much shit around everything. Every time you talk about something that can put him in a hole, he deflects it to something else and makes it about Democrats. Exactly, because he's not trying to do his job. That's what you not, do. That's like when you when your mom tells you to change. clean we your house. We need to change them. It's like your mom tell you, when I have the house clean, you better clean it up. What do you do? Shove everything under the bed and in the closet to make it look like you cleaned That's up. But Trump you ain't doing. doing shit. That's what uh, this is all about. Exactly. Because this is not going to change things. The thing is that it need, something has to happen that is going to m- cause it to change. Because this ain't it. Mm-hmm. This ain't it. And it's like the question is like what to do. Because we can put... Metal detectors everywhere. Bang, bang, bang. First of all, why do we, we don't want to live like that. I don't want to go to McDonald's and have to get, I don't want to go to McDonald's and then have to go to a metal detector because I want, I'm greedy. I want a three piece. Nah, I don't see a problem with it because like I said, they already have it in New York. I went to a high school where they had it. I walked through them and I walked right out them. It didn't, it didn't bother me. It was there. I actually liked it because at that time, gangs and stuff were big. So you know what but, I'm but saying? What about so I'm like, else? yo, cool. When I go to church, I love it. When I go to church, I don't want to walk through a metal detector. It's bad enough that when I go to church, I got to deal with the ushers. I can't even go sit where I want to sit in church, and now I got to worry about a metal detector. You're not even worried about. It. You can walk through and you are gonna sit down. You are gonna think, what damn, if I got no kid to come in know, here and shoot at the place? You know what I mean? What if I'm feeling? What if I'm with my with my grandma or something? She got the pins in her hat, and then nah. that goes off. Now grandma got to get searched. Yeah, check grandma. Fuck out here! Oh, she got this. Grandma ain't got nothing but mint candy. Nah, she good. I like the metal tech, just like when you go to the airport. Have them there. I don't want to be no other 9-11. Have them there. Make sure no fool comes on the same plane with me with a gun. Have them there. But be, not I like one it. taking over with a gun. That shit got taken over with a knife. I like it. Have the guns there. Shit like that you need. You need the metal detectors. In certain and those places. kids, just because they speak proper. Have you ever had a conversation with a four-year-old? You'd be like, damn, full sentence, yeah. commas, periods, like... <laughs> 17 year olds nowadays like you said they look older than what they are so they most likely speak older than what they are not all of them. they speak proper. some of them just look big no nah, like the shit like that be coming out their mouth i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> they just look big but sound dumb what <laughs> <laughs> you be looking at these kids they be talking on the train i'm like you just came from school 
<laughs> you sure? Like, is that what they're teaching you? That's what they're teaching you? But you're safe, though. You're safe. You ain't gonna get shot in there. Somebody need to shoot you. You can, you can value your life a little bit more. Fuck out of here. Anyway, I don't know. One, <laughs> one day, we don't know. A change gonna come. I don't know. Shit. I don't know what to say. It's... it's let let that leave. as long you know I'm just like whatever I, I'm happy that they have them the metal detectors at least they have them here in New York yeah. let's keep it going I'm taking away I guess obviously my kids can't go to school in Florida it works for us it's not working for them <laughs> you know what I mean? okay all right we can leave it there all right and that's yeah, for the episode <laughs> <laughs> sorry not working for y'all we good up here <laughs> don't bring that shit up here don't bring that shit up here yeah. okay because we got illegal guns we'll toss some shits in the ocean and get different on you yeah. but you ain't hear that from me anyway yeah. this is another episode of okay <laughs> <laughs> anyway this has been another episode of okay real quick <laughs> make sure you check us out on that ig page at okay real quick you can email us at okay real quick at gmail.com also check out the facebook page okay real quick i'll be your host tamika monet and we're out of here Ha, 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 ha.